Hi there, my name is Alex and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute patch hat which is based on Harry Styles iconic cardigan. Now the things you're going to need for this project are yarn in a DK or worsted weight and you're going to need four or six colours depending on which colour combination you want to put together. You'll need a crochet hook about a size 4mm but it's best to check the gauge to match the size of the hat you want to make. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. Now this hat is made in one complete piece, so there's actually no sewing together, which is fantastic. I do suggest that you do a gauge check before you start this project to make sure that you're going to end up with the right amount of half double crochet stitches to create the adult size hat that you're after. I put that gauge up in the top left hand corner for you. And I'm also recommending a worsted weight yarn, although a DK probably will work for especially for a smaller size. And I'll put some uh, yarn suggestions down in the description for you. I suggest that you start with a 4mm hook just to check your gauge, but that may have to be a little bit bigger or smaller depending on the size hat that you're making. I've created a downloadable PDF colour guide which you can access in the description and that's just to show you where the colours fall for each of the three different variations of this hat. The red and black squares are alternated every two stitches in the tutorial. However, if you want to, you can combine your plies of yarn by splitting your yarn into halves and then combining them together to make a two colored yarn. And this will save you having to change colors every two stitches. For example, the yarn I'm using is a five ply. So I'm using three strands of the red and two strands of the black together. As you can see, it works out really well, regardless of which color combination you're putting together. And it's gonna save you a lot of hassle, especially if you're a beginner. So consider this before you start your project. And I apologise that there are so many bits and pieces to go through before we start this project, but it's best to do this first so that it makes it a lot more enjoyable when you get to make your own hat. Now, if you are an experienced crocheter, you may want to change some of these patches to match more closely to the knitted version of Harry Styles cardigan. For this particular tutorial, I'm sticking to half double crochet stitch. Now working with our colour guide, we're going to start with the very top of our hat, working in a spiral. Then we'll work onto the sides with the patches, working around and then back in the opposite direction. And we continue working that until we get to the brim, which will work in a spiral. Now I've already got two of Harry Styles versions of hats, so I'm going to actually make the same pattern but using pastel colours. And I'm using a milk cotton yarn which I purchased through eBay or AliExpress and a 4mm crochet hook. Okay, let's make it. So to start we use the colour yarn that you're using for the top of your hat and create a magic ring. Now, if you're not sure how to create a magic ring, I have two tutorials on my channel. One has a very easy uh, hack that you can use to create a magic ring. So if you've struggled in the past, this might be the tutorial for you. So round one is to chain one, which counts as your very first half double crochet. And then eight half double crochet stitches into that magic ring. If at any time I'm going too fast or too slow for you, don't forget that in YouTube you can speed up or slow down the video so that you have it just at the right speed for you. Enjoying this tutorial so far? I hope you are. If you are, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for some more really fun creative craft content. At the end of round one, you can tighten the magic ring a little bit by pulling on that tail, but don't tighten it up completely because it's gonna be much easier to join to the beginning of that round before you tighten it up completely. So you wanna find the very first stitch that you created, which was the chain stitch. 
and you want to find the back the front and the back loop but we're actually going to join to the very back loop of that top stitch so by inserting the hook under the back loop yarn over pulling it through and then through the loop on your hook you've now slip stitched so you've completed that round now we want to put our hook under the front and back loop of the very same stitch and we're going to put our first half double crochet of round two into that stitch. So yarn over and under the front and back loop as we would do normally. Remember this is the very same stitch that we just joined to. And create your first half double crochet into round two. Now because round two is an increased round, you want to create another half double crochet in the very same space again. That's our first increase. And then work another eight half double crochet increases around. So that's two half double crochets into each stitch space. And at the end of round two, you will have 18 stitches. And at the end of round two, you can tighten up that magic ring nice and firmly. And now we're going to slip stitch to the back loop of our very first stitch in round two, as we did with the previous round. So there you can see the front and back loop. We're just going to slip stitch to the very back loop. Hook under, yarn over and through. So we've completed that round and then our first half double crochet will go under the front and back loop of the same stitch. Now round three is half double crochet and an increase, repeating that pattern nine times. So that will give you a total of 27 stitches for round three. Now don't forget an increase is simply just two stitches in the same stitch space. So nice and easy. We'll be slip stitching and half double crocheting in the same stitch at the beginning of every round on the top of this hat. Just slip stitching to join and half double crochet is our first stitch in round four. Another half double crochet and then an increase. So for round four we're repeating that pattern nine times. So that's two half double crochets and an increase and you'll end up with a total of 36 stitches. Now hopefully you're finding that slip stitch and half double crochet into the same stitch is getting a little bit easier to work with. It creates a really nice almost seamless uh, join but it's up to you, you choose a different way to transition if you prefer to. Now for round five, you'll be working three half double crochets and an increase nine times around, which will give you 45 stitches. You can start to see those V shapes from where the increases are. So if you lose track of where your increases are, you can have a little look and you should be able to see a line of Vs forming and that should show you where your next increase is to go. And on to round six which is four half double crochets and an increase. And we repeat that nine times around, which will give you a total of 54 stitches. If you've got an idea for an upcoming crochet or craft project tutorial that you would like to see me do, I would love to hear from you. Please comment them as I would love to hear from you and appreciate your support. And on to round seven, which is five half double crochet stitches and an increase, repeating that nine times, giving you a total of 63 stitches. That's starting to look really good and the top of the hat is starting to take shape now. So we're on to round eight and it's the second last of our increasing rounds. 
So that's six half double crochets and an increase. Repeating that nine times around, giving you 72 stitches in total. And on to round nine, which is our last of our increasing rounds for the top of the hat. Seven half double crochets and an increase, repeating that nine times around, which will give you a total of 81 stitches. Now with the top of our hat done, we can measure the width. I'm working on a medium adult size, so that's six and a half inches wide or 165 millimeters. And as you can see, I'm spot on. So this is where if you had worked your gauge at the beginning of the project, it should be working out to match the size hat that you're wanting to make. Now we're going to start the next round by creating that nice folded edge. And we do that by working into the back loop of the next round. Starting with the red, if you're working on the Harry Styles cardigan uh, version of this hat, and we'll be working across following the hat color guide, the PDF that's downloadable in the description. And regardless of which of the three different designs you're going to be following, the first patch is actually the same colour as the top of the hat, so we don't have any extra joining for our first patch. So slip stitching into our back loop, chain two, which will count as our very first half double crochet in this round. And I want you to half double crochet just around in the back loops. So that's a total of nine half double crochet stitches if you're including the two chains that we started with. Just working into those back loops. Now we're only working in the back loops for this particular round. After that, the patches will be working under both loops as you would normally. And we're coming up to changing over to our next patch color. So if you're working with the Harry Styles pattern, you've just created your first nine half double crochets in red and onto the next color, which will be orange for you. But remember to keep referring to the PDF color guide. Now to change your color seamlessly, you want to undo that very last half double crochet you created and we're going to bring our new color through at the very last step of that stitch. So we're redoing the half double crochet into that back loop and we're going to be pulling through our new color as the very last step. So for me it's it's the pastel orange and I pull that through and now I'm going to be working with the new color, but I'm going to be working over the yarn tails that I have. So the tail that I have for this particular patch will be the orange, which is the new color. So whichever project you're working on, you're going to be working over the new tail that you've just brought into your work. By crocheting over or around that particular tail, it means that you won't have to sew in any of these loose tails at the end of your project and it saves you a lot of work. Now you can just pull on those tails a little bit just to tighten up that join. And for this second patch, we'll be working nine half double crochets in the back loops. Remembering to put the yarn tail over your hook and make sure it's all caught into your stitches and hidden.
and one more half double crochet and that completes the orange patch. Now we're on to the next colour. You can just firm up that um, yarn tail and trim any excess, the one that we've just worked over. And the next colour on my hat is the Power Yellow. On the Harry Styles hat it is bright yellow. So we're just going to undo that last half double crochet and recreate it just pulling our new yarn through on the very last step. Firm up any tails that you've got there and we're going to work another nine half double crochets in the back loops working over our new yarn tail. And that completes the yellow patch. So we're on to the next one, which for the Harry Styles cardigan hat, it is black. For the pastel one, it is mauve. So you want to undo that last half double crochet that we have created. Recreate it with the very last step of pulling through the new color. And now working another nine half double crochets in the back loops of your new colour, working over your yarn tail. Now we're coming up to our first multicoloured patch, which is the black red patch. And for me, it's going to be mauve and pink. Now, I hope you've worked out whether you're going to be doing every second stitch in a color change or whether you're doing a combination of the plies of yarn, as I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. So I'm going to be doing the two every two alternating um, stitches. So I'm going to bring through our new color, which is pink. It would be red if you're working on the Harry Styles cardigan hat trimming off the excess that we've just worked over of our tail. So we're creating one half double crochet, working over our tail, and then completing the next half double crochet by bringing through the alternating colour. Now I know this gets a bit tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. This, this first, um, first round of the hat side is actually the trickiest of the whole project. And once you have done that, everything else will seem a lot easier. So we're just gonna tuck in our yarn tails as we work along, changing over on that very last step of the half double crochet. So we want to work nine half double crochets in total for this patch. So that will actually leave us with one stitch for the very last um, section of the patch. So it'll be two, 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 and then one half double crochet at the very end. And continually changing over that very last step of the half double crochet. So up to our fourth lot of two half double crochet stitches, changing over to the pink or it'll be red if you're working on the Harry Styles hat. And now we're changing over halfway through that stitch to the next colour. The next colour for me is the pastel green. It'll be a bright green for the Harry Styles hat. So pulling through our new colour, you want to work nine half double crochets in the back loops, again working over your yarn tails. So each of the nine patches around the hat are nine half double crochets wide and over the whole height of the hat we're going to increase every single one of those patches by one stitch. So we started with 81 stitches at the top of the hat 
so that's nine in each of the nine patches and at the end of the two rows of patches we'll end up with a hundred stitches so that will be ten stitches per patch just trimming some excess tails as I go and we're on to our next patch which is the pale orange again or orange again changing over at the end of the last half double crochet in the previous colour pulling through the new colour and nine half double crochets in the back loops working over our new yarn tail And on to the next colour, which is the eighth colour in the patch, which will be pale yellow for me, yellow for the Harry Styles cardigan hat. Again, bringing through that colour change on the very last half double crochet of the previous patch. And nine half double crochets in the back loops. Just remember to tuck in that tail. Now don't panic if you haven't tucked in all the tails or worked over the tails as you've gone. You can always sew those in at the, at the end of the project and um, I usually miss some so you know it's, it's not um, crucial that you do that. It's just trying to save you on doing the least fun part of crocheting I think is sewing things together or sewing tails in. So we want to try and reduce that as much as possible. And on to our very last patch which for me is the mauve colour. It'll be black for the Harry Styles cardigan hat. Nine half double crochets, again working over your tails. Okay, if you are still with me, you have just managed to complete the hardest row of this project. It's going to be a whole lot easier from here. So we slip stitch to the very back loop of the first stitch in row one. Chain one and then turn your work. We're going to be working nine half double crochet stitches across the back of this patch, but it's best to count the nine so that you can see where the starting stitch is because quite often it's a little bit tricky and you might go into the first stitch which will make it 10. So we're just going to half double crochet into that ninth stitch and work across under both loops this time. We only worked under the back loop to create the crease of the hat. Now we'll be working the rest of the patches under both loops. So working your nine half double crochets across, when you get to the next colour you want to move your yarn over to the right hand side away from your hook then pick up the next color patch yarn and complete that very last nine uh, ninth half double crochet stitch with the color change so nine half double crochets across in that color and when we get to the ninth we will change to the next patch color now hopefully by now you've got the hang of that and I won't have to explain it each time but just for that first row, I wanted to make sure that you understood how to change the colour so that you don't end up with a, a patchy or a, an odd sort of stitch showing when you do a colour change. So this, this way it's, it's sort of seamless and it keeps a nice straight smooth edge. When you're up to the alternate colour patch, remember you want to start in the opposite colour to the colour that you ended in. So for me I ended in pink, so I wanted to start in purple doing your two stitches, working two stitches and then changing over your colour and working right across that patch, alternating. It's a bit fiddly, but by the time you finish this hat you'll be a real pro at it. And just to clarify, because we're working in the reverse order on the alternate coloured patch, you've got one half double crochet of colour and then four lots of two half double crochet stitches. So you want to start with just a single half double crochet working back on row two. And on to the next patch 
which again will be nine half double crochets with that colored change on the very last stitch. And you want to repeat that for the entire row two. And at the end of row two, we're going to slip stitch to the very top of the first stitch in that row, counting back nine to make sure we get the right stitch. Just slip stitch into that back loop, chain one, and then turn your work. Count across nine stitches for your count across nine stitches to find your starting stitch. Half double crochet into that stitch space. Now each panel in row three will be nine half double crochets. Again, changing your colours halfway through that last half double crochet of each patch panel. If you're new to my channel, you might like to check out some of my tutorials like the super cute frog bucket hat or the sweet strawberry bucket hat. I'll leave a link to both of those projects in the description. At the end of row three, you want to slip stitch to that ninth stitch, just into the back loop, chain one and turn your work. Now row four is an increasing row. So every third patch will increase by one stitch. I'm marking them here on my color guide, but I already have them marked for you on the downloadable PDF guide. So rows four, eight, and 12 will have three increases evenly placed across the row. Count back nine and put your first half double crochet into that stitch. Working nine half double crochets across your first patch. For me, it's mauve. If you're working on the Harry Styles cardigan hat, it will be black. Changing over color. And on to that third patch, which will have an increase in it. Now, the third patch is actually the seventh patch, if you're working from left to right. And you'll want to create four half double crochets. Then increase, so that will just be two half double crochets in the same stitch space. and then four half double crochets. Now that's created uh, 10 stitches across that particular patch. So we'll work across as we have with previous rows until we get to the black patch, which will also have an increase in it. And I'm up to the mauve or black patch. That's four half double crochets, then an increase. One and two, and then four half double crochets. Continue across the next two patches, and we'll increase on the very last patch. For me that's pink, but it might be red if you're working on the Harry Styles cardigan hat. And on to that last patch, which is patch one. Four half double crochets and an increase and four half double crochets. 
Then we will join with a slip stitch to the ninth stitch, chain one and turn. Now I hope I haven't confused anyone too much by having different colour options. I was really um, more concerned about giving people an option because not everyone would want a Harry Styles colour themed hat. I think they're adorable but hey, it's not everyone's choice. So I thought by making it open to different colour patches, whether you want six colours or four colours, it gives you an option to be able to create something different. So on to rows five and six, and you're going to be working across as we have done with previous rows, working your nine half double crochets, or 10 in the case of the three patches we've just increased in, working across those and then back again. So I'll see you back after row six. At the end of row six, you can trim your patch yarns and just leaving a long enough tail so that we can work over those for the very next round. It's looking good. We'll start on to row seven, exactly where we finished off. That's with the green. Again, we'll be working to the left and then working back the opposite way. Count across on your first patch to make sure that you get to the ninth stitch. And join with your new yarn. So it's the green, which mine is like a pale greeny aqua color. And you want to chain one, which will count as your very first half double crochet in this row. And we're working over our tails again. So we'll have two tails this time. We'll have the pink or the red from your previous patch, and then the tail for the new color patch. So for row seven, you're working nine or 10 where it's increased half double crochets for each patch, working in the new colour and also working over those tails. So probably the second trickiest row of this project. Again, if working over the tails is just too much, too difficult, you can always sew those in later. Refer to your colour guide to make sure that you're following the right colours for your project. and change color. And you're going to be working over the yarn tail for the new color that you've just changed to and the finishing tail from the patch color underneath that row. So for me, it's the mauve and the orange color that I'm working over. And continue to refer to your color guide, working the patches in the nine or 10 half double crochets for row seven. At the end of the row, you want to slip stitch to the back of the ninth stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Now I'm just going to trim some of the excess tails just to make it a little bit neater as I'm working around. And you can see I've only worked over the tails for each individual patch. You don't need to carry the yarn tail any further than that when you're working over them. So just the nine half double crochets is enough to sort of keep each tail in place and nice and neat and tidy. Now row eight is an increasing row. And remember we're working from the right hand side so it'll be the second patch. So we've got the yellow first and then we've got our color change or alternating color patch. And that's where we're going to be putting in our increase.
Now with increasing into this alternating colour patch, what we're going to do is increase not into the middle of the patch but at the very right hand side. So that one stitch that we've had um, to make up our nine half double crochets, we're going to make that two half double crochets. So we're changing to the correct colour and we're going to put two half double crochets into the one stitch space. Just changing over the colour and onto the next two half double crochets of colour. So what we've actually done was we've changed that patch width now from nine to ten half double crochets but we've made more of a square of that first colour so rather than just having the one stitch we've got two. Now you'll work across until the next patch that we need to increase into. We have just increased into patch eight we need to put an extra half double crochet in the middle of patch five and patch two. At the end of row eight, we're going to slip stitch to the top of that ninth stitch across. Chain one and turn your work. Now for rows 9, 10 and 11, we're going to be working exactly the same way we have before, which is just the 9 or 10 half double crochets across each patch, keeping with the colour and the pattern. And I will see you at the beginning of row 12. Onto row 12, which is the last of our increasing rounds for the patches. So we're going to increase in the middle of patches 3, 6 and 9. And as we're working in reverse order, we start with the very first patch, patch 9. So that's 4 half double crochets and an increase and 4 half double crochets. Changing colour. And just working across and making sure that you add that extra half double crochet in the middle of the uh, patch number three, six and nine. At the end of row 12, you slip stitch to the 10th stitch because we've increased that panel to 10 stitches. And you can trim all of the yarn that you have left from creating those patches. Now you can see there that I've missed sewing in some of those um, loose tails, so I'll have to stitch those in later. And by adding those extra 10 stitches in over the whole height of the hat, you can see how nicely the hat is shaped, just a really slight angle at the sides. And it's on to making the brim. For this tutorial, I'm making the brim six rows, but you can make the brim as wide or as narrow as you like. I'll add a pattern up in the top left hand corner so you can see how to continue that at the end of row six. Join the colour yarn that you're using for the brim to the ending position of the last patch that you had crocheted. Chain one, and that's going to be your very first single crochet in this stitch. Now we're actually going to be using single crochet stitches for this one round. So I want you to single crochet all the way around those 90 stitches, working over the yarn tails. Again, you don't have to work in the yarn tails, but it's going to be a lot easier than sewing in 10 yarn tails when you finish the project. So single crochet all the way around, we're going through both loops, just tucking in those tails and you can trim off any excess tails as you're working around just to keep it neat and tidy. And at the end of the single crochet row, you want to slip stitch to the back loop of the 10th stitch across. 
that will give you your 90 stitches around. So you can neaten up and trim any visible tail ends that might be sticking out. You can see I've got quite a few tails there to still to sew in. <laughs> so with the brim, we're going to keep increasing as we did for the top of the hat. But we also want to create uh, the brim to sort of sit out. So what we're going to be doing is working in the front loops this time, just for the first round, which is going to make sure that that brim sort of kicks out. So slip stitch to the next front loop and chain one, which is going to create our very first half double crochet. There are nine half double crochets and an increase. We're repeating that pattern nine times around, which will give you 99 stitches. But remember, we're only working in the front loops just for this one round. And our first increase just into that front loop. Again, it's nine half double crochets and an increase all the way around on this first round of the brim. Now, just to make sure that you're on track, you should be able to see that the increases line up with the change of color with each patch. At the end of the first row of our brim, we're going to slip stitch the back loop of that first stunning stitch and half double crochet under the front and back loop as we did with the top of the hat. So we're going to be working 10 half double crochets and then an increase, repeating that pattern nine times around which will give us 108 stitches at the end of row two of the brim. Again, we're working in both loops this time Onto row three of the brim, we join, create our first half double crochet under both loops of that same joining stitch. Now we're working 11 half double crochets and an increase, repeating that nine times around, which will give you 117 stitches. Now, as you can see with increasing, especially when you increase a project in the same place, it seems to flatten out the edges. So rather than our hat having a nice rounded, smooth brim, we've got flat edges. So we need to soften those. So with brim row four, we're going to work three half double crochets and an increase. And then we'll get to our pattern of 12 half double crochets and an increase. We repeat that eight times and then finish the round with nine half double crochets. That will give you 126 stitches in total. So we're basically increasing the same way we were before with nine increases, but we're just staggering where we put those increases, which will means that the whole curve will be a lot softer. You can already see how the flat edges are starting to smooth out. And onto row five of the brim, Again, we're staggering our increases. So nine half double crochets and an increase. And then our pattern of 13 half double crochets and an increase, repeating that eight times. And then we'll finish off the round with four half double crochets, giving you a total of 135 stitches. And now we're on to row six of the brim. Now, if you're creating the four color pastel hat or you want to add a color trim to the brim, I rhymed, now is the time to do it. Change color. But for me, it's continuing on with the blue 
And for Brim Row 6, it's seven half double crochets and an increase. Then we'll follow the pattern of 14 half double crochets and an increase, repeating that eight times. Then we'll finish the round with six half double crochets, which will give you a total of 144 stitches for round six. Now I'm really happy with how the brim is sitting out and the width of the brim, which is six rows. So I'm just going to finish that by giving it a really nice edge, which gives it a little bit of stability and helps it sit out a bit further. If you want to add more rounds to your hat, I've put up in the top left hand corner the pattern that you would follow to add more rounds. You can stagger those increases or you could just simply use them as I have written in the pattern. So we're going to slip stitch around the edge by inserting your hook under both top loops. We're just going to pull through the yarn and back through the loop on our hook. Now you don't want to do this too tightly, you want to make sure that it is firm but has a little bit of play in it so that the hat has stretch. So you can see how that bulks it up from the normal way that you would have that finished with your half double crochet and now bulked up a little bit with that extra slip stitch edge around. And it just gives it a really nice finish. When you finish slip stitching around the final row of your brim, cut the yarn and pull it through the loop on the hook. Now you can see how much nicer that curve has come out by staggering out increases. Time to sew in the yarn tails. To sew in the yarn tails, just thread each of the tails onto your yarn needle and you're going to weave it gently into your stitch work. Just make sure that you can't see it from the other side, from the correct side of your work. Backwards and forwards just to snag that a little bit, especially that starting tail where the magic ring is. Just going to hide those along our stitches. So you can see I've actually missed quite a few patches there that I haven't worked over my yarn tail. and finish the brim seamlessly by slipping the needle under the next stitch along and then back through the center of the last loop. Now to hide the yarn tail, which that nice thick edge gives you a great place to be able to hide the tail along through the stitches. and trim off any excess. I just love how this hat pattern turned out. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have been inspired to make your own patch style hat. If you like this tutorial, please show your support by hitting that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for instant access to fun, creative project tutorials. Thanks again, be safe, be positive and as always, stay awesome.